Have you ever wondered where membership comes from? How do all of these young scouts and their families know that they can join or even how to join? And even though you aren't likely to meet an eight-year-old that walks up to you and says, hey, I want to join scouting to get my character developed, you will meet a lot of young people that join scouting because it was fun. And because it was fun, they were willing to allow us to mold and shape their character as a part of their scouting experience. That's why we say that this program is fun with a purpose. But in order for us to bring the scout oath and law to life for a young person, we had to recruit them. So how did we recruit the first grader into scouting and then keep them in the program so that they could have some incredible adventures? Recruiting youth doesn't just happen by accident. The nice thing is, is that you don't have to do everything on the same day. There's an annual cycle that requires you to do certain things in certain months. In the membership committee guidebook, you'll find the membership cycle. Some elements of the cycle are done every month and others are done at certain times of year. The important thing for you to know is that you need to work on membership every month of the year. Most of the elements of the membership cycle fall into one of two categories, offense and defense. Offense is where we actually recruit new scouts. We deliver flyers, get newspaper articles written, we organize new units, we do rallies, we do school assemblies or classroom visits. We do what it takes to get families to want to join and then get them to join. We also make sure that the units have a good program and retain those youth. Defense are the things that we do to make sure that the boys we recruit actually get registered. We collect the applications at joining events, review advancement reports and activity rosters to see who is participating, and make sure that we've gotten the paperwork for them. We determine units that are in jeopardy of not rechartering and develop a plan to improve the program. We review incoming charters and we contact the unit to see if any of the new youth on the charter participated in the current year. In the end, the offense is the recruiting of new youth. Defense is making sure that the youth we recruited are actually registered. What does it take to grow scouting? It takes a lot of effort to make sure that every family is invited at least seven times and feel like they have been welcomed to participate. Every month you will need to make sure you schedule membership tasks into your calendar so that the important parts of the process add up to a successful recruiting campaign. Each step of the membership cycle is important. Review your council membership plan. When you sit down for your monthly day of planning, make sure that membership is important enough for you to schedule the tasks onto your calendar so you can lay the groundwork for a great recruiting year. And really, once you see a young person that you recruited into scouting have an amazing experience, you'll really be proud of what you've done because you chose to be important in the life of a child.